Close your eyes and watch your breath, all the way in, all the way out. Each breath as it comes in, each breath as it goes out. Don't let your mind wander away. If it does, just drop whatever thought that was, and you'll be back at the breath. The quality we're trying to develop here is a sense of well-being that doesn't have to depend on sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations. You don't have to think about pleasures of the senses. You can find pleasure just being inside your body, adjusting the breath so it feels good inside. This is called leaving sensuality. We're having an ordination today, and the English word ordination doesn't really convey what the Pali terms convey. The Pali term, Baba Cha, means to go out, to leave, to leave your sensual concerns. And as I say in Thailand, you can do this in a bodily way, and you can do this in a mental way. Even if you can't do it in the body, at least you can do it in your mind right now. You don't have to be thinking about anything else but the feeling of the body right here as you experience it from the inside. And then you can adjust the breath element so it feels good. This is an area of our awareness that we tend not to know much about, and we're not very skilled in dealing with it. And so the Buddha teaches us about the different elements in the body. There's motion, i.e. breath, and then there's solidity, which is called earth, and there's warmth, which is called fire, water, which is called coolness. We learn how to bring these elements into balance. We use the breath as our means. When you can find a sense of well-being here, then you look at the pleasures of the senses outside, and they begin to lose some of their luster. You begin to think about all the things you have to do in order to get them. We're here, all you have to do is sit here and breathe. It takes some mental energy, but it's something you have within you to do. Whereas the pleasures of the senses are things you have to borrow from other people. They're never really yours. And once you've got them, you have to protect them. Whereas this, there's nobody going to come in and take your breath or your experience of the breath. This is yours. So take advantage of what you've got, learn how to develop it, so your mind can go out as well, so it's not trapped. As I say in the canon, the life in the home is a dusty path. In other words, you're just constantly surrounded by responsibilities. The more you hold on to your sensual pleasures, the more you get trapped by things. The more you can let go of them, the more you're free. Whether you do it on the bodily level or you do it on the mental level, it's all to the good. Because this pleasure that you're finding inside doesn't place any burdens on anybody else. Unlike the pleasures of sensual, go to with your sensual desires. Somebody's got to be suppressed, somebody's got to be oppressed, somebody's going to be harassed by your desires if they're outside. But if your desires are inside, everybody gets freed.